All right, so for an episode mini, we have David talking to Sean. And it mentions Arcadia Bay or Chloe, depending on what you picked at the start. You know, when it asks you if you played the first the game. car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? Yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, we'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. Um, you have to exit I'm sure that and drive through the that there's a third lock for strange that kind of have some type of reference or connection okay. in between. Because, you know, Life is Strange games always have connections. Sure. Thanks, so. Sean, you have to know the police are on your ass. You, you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. I know, David. Honest. I know, David. Thanks. The, the voice for David, yeah, it must be the same guy who had to play him before the storm. I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed by that hurricane, my stepdaughter and her friend were among the only survivors. lost everyone else jeez sorry I used to hate them for running away they hit the road straight away never to look back while I was trying to rebuild so why did you come here in the end I had to. Arcadia Bay would have been my grave. I met Steve. He owns the house behind Stanley and Arthur's. He'd lost relatives in the storm, too. So I was in a really bad shape. We became friends. And he told me about this place. How I could start fresh here. He was right. I know that moving on is a, a tough process, no matter the situation. Sean, I'm going to do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up. With well, I didn't know that. That I, um. Yeah, of course. The guy no, he's talking about lost relatives in the storm. Screwed. Don't you think? Nobody will ever believe you, but yeah, he lost Joyce. Truth is on your side. Yeah, Maybe and it's pretty clear that Frank and Warren died, died too, because they were in the diner when it blew up. Is that how you see yourself in ten years? If you step up and face the law, you can be free sooner than later. I don't know. I might turn myself in after I see what happens with Danny. I know you want to settle down first, but keep your options open. Think about it. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So, I know you're on the right path. Oh. Uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, sweetie. What's up? 
Alright. Had a little heart to heart with David. Shit. Told you New Yorkers were right. Yeah, so Chloe calls him. Yeah, I know. I love this game so much, man. I mean I admit um when I first heard of this game, I think I would like it. Cool. But um when I got my PS4, you know, I'm I'm a firm believer when it comes to games and such to at least try it before you automatically say you don't like it and I mean, this is a good game this is an awesome game yeah those solar panels are finally up and running you'll see them next time you come by this channel you know story-based games especially life is strange is a staple on this channel i got inspired to do photography because of the first game you know how max likes to do photography right louisiana or texas Cool. Yeah, gotcha. All right. Okay, we have to pull on out. Wish Max luck for me, okay? Bye bye. Yeah, and I think if you tell the game you didn't sacrifice the bay, I think Joyce will call. But Chloe will be dead. So it's like sad. It's sad that David loses Joyce either way. For sacrificing Bay, Joyce dies in the storm. And for sacrificing Chloe, they get into a divorce. But the difference is, they still talk. 